Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. Today I am very excited to be showing you a figure that's been on my wish list for over three years now. This is Corporal Terry Wolcott, a British Airborne Artillery Scout from Arnhem, September 1944. And guys, this figure is incredibly challenging to find anywhere. It's taken me so long, um, like I said, over three years to finally get this one in my collection. And I am beyond excited to have this guy. Um, he was pretty much on the top of my wanted list for a long time. So very excited. This is an incredible figure. He's a convention exclusive from 2007. And um, yeah, like I said, he is just impossible to find anywhere. So I finally got him off eBay and for a pretty good price too. I found him for 125 which is pretty cheap considering the rarity. This one could easily fetch 200 or maybe even more um so let's jump right in and take a look at this amazing figure so here is the box not really much to show like i said this is from 2007 and then here is a picture of the figure that is a great picture All right, so this opens up, and I do have a few things left inside. The magazine, uh, some grenades, a shell, a mortar shell, and um, some patches there. All right, so that is the box. Even though there's not much on here, it still looks really cool. I love the picture. All right, let's bring out the figure now. Alright guys, here is Terry Wolcott, an incredible British paratrooper. Yeah, I'm beyond amazed by this figure. He comes with so much stuff. Very challenging to put together, um, but he looks amazing once you get everything on here. Um, I did have a bit of a horror story um, when I opened up this figure. He was brand new in the box and everything. Um, but when I opened him up, his legs just slid right out of his pants. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I guess due to age or maybe where he was stored, the legs just were broken and they slid right out. So I had to glue his legs back on. So as a result, I can't move them or bend them or anything um, so I had to be really careful um, that was that was very disappointing I was very upset by that because um, this figure is just so hard to find and it's gonna be hard to replace anything on him um, I guess what I could do is get a new body and take the head off and put this head on the new body but I'm not skilled with doing that so I'm just gonna leave it as it is but that was um, that was very upsetting, but thankfully everything's okay now. You just have to be careful. All right, well, anyway, let's jump right in and take a look at what you get with this figure. As you can see, he's equipped with a Sten, and that does have a silencer on it. You can get some great poses with that. Let me very carefully take this out. Okay. Okay, it looks like the strap fell off there, but um or the sling. There that is. Um magazine comes out of course. I really like the silencer on there. Um just a really beautiful weapon. The only other figure that comes with this is Daniel Blackburn as far as I know. So this is a very exclusive weapon. And let me very carefully try to get it in his hands. Okay, so there he is holding it. Let's 
All right, moving on. Let's take a look at the head sculpt and the beret. All right, the beret fits very nicely onto his head, and that is an exclusive beret. I've never seen any others like it. Okay, so here that is. Let me try to get that in focus. Okay, it looks like some of it kind of faded off over time. Uh, but still, a very nice beret. And also a very nice head sculpt. It's got a very distinct look. I like the cleft that he has. Very realistic. All right, and as for equipment, this guy is packed with stuff, as is the case usually with paratroopers. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of stuff. It's challenging to get everything on here, but it looks fantastic once you do. Um, so yeah, let's just start in the front here. We've got pouches here for extra magazines for his Sten. Now they only provide you with two magazines, so I wish they had provided more so you could just fill up all of these pouches. That would have been nice. But anyway, that is very cool. Um, this is really awesome. He comes with body armor, um, which of course that's incredibly unique to this figure. <clears throat> and that looks fantastic. I really like that. <clears throat> I'm not really sure how effective this body armor was. Um, but anyway, it looks really cool. Okay, we have more pouches here in the front. And then in the back, a lot more stuff. We've got his haversack and a British bazooka, or sorry, a British mortar. That's very nice. All right, we've got his teacup, of course. And then they do provide you with a helmet. I'm not really a fan of the helmet on the figure. I prefer the beret, so I just keep the helmet in the back like this. Okay, we've got his canteen and then also his entrenching tool down here. <coughs> so as you can see, <coughs> excuse me. So as you can see, a, a lot of equipment here on this figure. All right, moving on. He comes with a nice camouflaged scarf. And of course, his camouflaged uh, paratrooper smock. That looks fantastic on the figure. And a lot of uh, patches here for you to put on. Okay, we've got his corporal patch and royal artillery. And then the airborne underneath. Uh, looks really fantastic. And then the same on this side, of course. All right, and then lastly, we've got his pants with his boots and his um, gaiters. All right, guys. Well, that is Terry Wolcott, um, arguably one of the best British figures out there. In my opinion, this guy is um, absolutely incredible. He's decked out with equipment here. I love the silenced Sten. That is beautiful. Um, just the overall look. You know, I, I really love British figures, and this one was, uh, this is definitely one of the, I think, one of the holy grail British figures. Um, just incredibly rare and uh, really beautiful. So I highly recommend finding this one if you can it's very hard it took me many years so good luck if you want to try to get him well i hope you guys enjoyed this review thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time